What if NASA has discovered an engine capable of reaching near light speeds? The internet is ablaze with discussions about this revolutionary technology, but is it truly possible? Could NASA's latest breakthrough defy the laws of physics and change space travel forever? Stay with us as we dive deep into the details of this mind-boggling propulsion system. For years, scientists have dreamed of building an engine that could propel spacecraft at unimaginable speeds. Now, NASA's new near-light-speed engine is generating both excitement and skepticism. Aviation experts and physicists alike are questioning its feasibility. Does it truly defy the fundamental principles of physics? And if so, what does this mean for the future of space exploration? Before we explore this groundbreaking technology, let's first look at the history of unconventional propulsion systems and how they've paved the way for this moment. One of the earliest controversial propulsion systems was the M-Drive, first proposed by British engineer Roger Scheuer. The concept was simple yet paradoxical, an engine that generates thrust without ejecting any propellant. By bouncing microwaves inside a sealed chamber, Scheuer claimed it could produce propulsion, seemingly breaking Newton's third law of motion. Physicists, including Dr. Stanis Lewandowski of NASA's Glenn Research Center, were highly skeptical. According to the conservation of momentum, for an object to move forward, it must push something backward. Conventional rockets achieved this by expelling hot gases, but the M-Drive appeared to work without any such mechanism. Despite the doubts in 2006, Scheuer announced that his prototype produced a minuscule yet measurable thrust of 0.1 Newton, enough to move a small satellite. NASA's EagleWorks Laboratory, led by Dr. Harold White, took notice and began testing the concept. In 2013, White and his team reported detecting a tiny but unexplained force in their M-Drive prototype. Though extremely weak, equivalent to the weight of an eyelash, it was still far greater than physics predicted. The news spread like wildfire. By 2016, China's space agency revealed they had been testing a similar device for years and hinted at plans for in-space trials. However, skepticism remained high due to inconsistencies in the data. While the M-Drive failed to prove itself as a viable engine, it reignited interest in futuristic propulsion systems, including one that might truly change the game. NASA's latest near-light-speed engine builds on decades of research into alternative propulsion, including Uyun engines. Unlike chemical rockets, ion thrusters use electricity to accelerate charged particles ions at incredibly high speeds. This technology, once considered science fiction, is now widely used in deep space missions. The first major success came in 1998 with NASA's Deep Space One mission, which proved that ion propulsion could work reliably for long-duration space travel. The European Space Agency's GOCE satellite and Japan's Hayabusa mission also demonstrated the efficiency of ion engines, enabling precise orbital maneuvers and asteroid sample returns. However, ion propulsion, while highly efficient, lacks the raw power needed for interstellar travel. That's where nuclear thermal propulsion, NTP, comes in. First explored in the Hush 1950s, NTP uses a nuclear reactor to superheat hydrogen fuel, creating significantly more thrust than ion engines. This could cut travel time to Mars in half, reducing risks for astronauts and expanding the possibilities of human space exploration. Marshall Space Flight Center have taken things even further they are developing a propulsion system that doesn't rely on conventional propellants at all, one that could theoretically achieve near-light speeds. The implications of such a breakthrough are staggering. Interstellar missions within a human lifetime, rapid travel across the solar system, and perhaps even the first steps toward faster-than-light exploration. While full details remain classified, preliminary reports suggest that this next-generation engine may involve quantum inertia, or vacuum energy extraction, concepts that have long been confined to the realm of theoretical physics. Quantum inertia, a radical idea proposed by physicist Mike McCulloch, suggests that a spacecraft could generate thrust without expelling propellant by leveraging the quantum effects of unruh radiation, a phenomenon predicted to arise due to acceleration in a vacuum. Meanwhile, vacuum energy extraction explores the possibility of tapping into the zero-point energy of space, an idea that, if feasible, could provide virtually limitless propulsion without the need for conventional fuel sources. If either of these groundbreaking technologies prove successful, it could revolutionize our understanding of physics 
and shatter the very foundations of space travel as we know it. Conventional propulsion methods, which rely on chemical combustion or ion thrusters, would become obsolete overnight, paving the way for near instantaneous acceleration, prolonged deep space missions, and possibly even interstellar travel within human lifetimes. Such an achievement would not only redefine the limits of aerospace engineering, but could also trigger a paradigm shift in energy consumption, transportation, and our place in the cosmos. Are we on the brink of a new era in propulsion technology? Could NASA's near light speed engine be the key to unlocking the stars? While skepticism remains, one thing is certain. The quest for faster space travel is far from over. Whether through ion propulsion, nuclear engines, or an entirely new breakthrough, the future of interstellar exploration is closer than ever. What do you think? Is NASA's near light speed engine the real deal or just another overhyped concept? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-blowing space discoveries. What if I told you we could get to Mars in just three days? Sounds like science fiction, right? But with groundbreaking advances in space travel technology, this might soon be our reality. Traveling to Mars is no easy feat. There's a reason why humans have never set foot on the red planet. The journey is long, dangerous, and packed with challenges that make it one of the most ambitious missions humanity has ever considered. A round-trip mission to Mars takes a staggering 21 months. Nine months to get there, three months on the planet, and another nine months to return. Every second of that journey translates into massive costs, physical tolls on the human body, and logistical hurdles. But what if we didn't have to wait that long? What if we could cut the journey time drastically? From nuclear rockets to ion engines and even photonic propulsion, revolutionary technologies are promising to redefine space travel as we know it. Let's start with the technology that's already making waves. SpaceX's Raptor engines. These next-generation engines burn liquid methane and liquid oxygen, producing immense thrust while being fully reusable, a game-changer for reducing costs and increasing efficiency. While this propulsion system could take us to Mars in about nine months, scientists and engineers are looking for ways to go even faster. Enter the nuclear-powered rocket, a concept that could cut travel time to just 90 days. By using uranium to generate heat, these rockets would produce twice the thrust of current chemical systems. Despite concerns about nuclear energy, modern safety measures and designs ensure minimal risks, especially since the reactor wouldn't even activate until the spacecraft left Earth's atmosphere. But what if 90 days isn't fast enough? That's where ion engines come in. By electrically accelerating ions to generate thrust, these futuristic engines could propel spacecraft at speeds of up to 200,000 miles per hour. Though the acceleration starts slow, once in the vacuum of space, ion engines deliver continuous propulsion. With this technology, a trip to Mars could take just 39 days, a significant leap forward. Among the many groundbreaking advancements in space travel, one concept stands out as truly revolutionary. Photonic propulsion systems. This technology, which uses particles of light known as photons to propel spacecraft, represents a paradigm shift in how we envision traveling through space. Imagine cutting the journey to Mars from the current nine months to just three days. It sounds like science fiction, but the principles behind photonic propulsion are grounded in real physics, and the implications of this technology could be nothing short of transformative for humanity's future in space. To understand how photonic propulsion works, we need to delve into the unique properties of photons. Unlike traditional propulsion systems that rely on chemical reactions or nuclear energy to generate thrust, photonic propulsion taps into the momentum carried by photons. While photons themselves are massless, they possess both energy and momentum. When these particles of light strike or reflect off a surface, their momentum is transferred, creating a small but measurable push. This phenomenon, often compared to a gentle but continuous nudge, is the principle that drives photonic propulsion. Now, you might wonder how such a seemingly tiny force could power an entire spacecraft. The answer lies in scalability and sustained acceleration. While the initial thrust generated by photons is minuscule compared to the explosive power of chemical rockets, photonic propulsion systems rely on the fact that in the vacuum of space, there's no air resistance or gravity to slow a spacecraft down. This means that even a small, constant force can build up incredible speeds over time. Given enough time and precision engineering, a spacecraft propelled by photons could reach extraordinary velocities, 
enabling it to cover vast distances in record time. One of the most promising concepts for harnessing photonic propulsion involves the use of highly concentrated laser beams. These lasers would be stationed on Earth or in orbit and directed at a lightweight spacecraft equipped with a highly reflective sail. This light sail, designed to capture the energy and momentum of the photons, would essentially be pushed forward by the laser's beam. The intense focused energy from the laser could accelerate the spacecraft to unprecedented speeds, potentially enabling it to reach Mars in just three days. Despite its immense promise, photonic propulsion is still in its infancy. Developing the necessary technology to generate, aim, and sustain powerful laser beams over vast distances presents significant technical challenges. The materials required for the light sails must be both ultra lightweight and highly reflective, capable of withstanding the intense energy of the laser without disintegrating. Additionally, there are concerns about aiming precision as even a slight deviation in the laser beam's trajectory could send the spacecraft off course. From cutting edge chemical engines to nuclear reactors, ion thrusters, and photonic propulsion, humanity is on the brink of a space travel revolution. These advancements could make Mars more accessible than ever and open doors to a future where interplanetary exploration becomes a regular part of our lives. What do you think about these futuristic methods of space travel? Which one excites you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content on the latest breakthroughs in space exploration. The future of humanity among the stars starts now.